What's up, Mercs? It's Joe here with some more Fallout Frost. Last time we made it to the Molden Hospital, and today we're going in. So, let's get a move on. Let's just go ahead and clear out the people on the outside before we do anything drastic here. We do want to be careful of the grenades that they throw, but honestly, they're just stunned, so we should be good overall. This one's almost down here. Okay, now you. There is a dog coming up on my left, but that's fine. Yep, there he is. Alright, and right now we are undetected, so everyone around us is dead. Let's just go ahead and grab the meat off the dog, and then we'll see if there's anyone over there in the parking lot that we need to take on next. We have a decent amount of ammunition, which is good. We're doing pretty damn good at the moment on that... Res in that respect, rather. But... The food situation and the water situation, we're slowly dealing with, so I'm not too worried about it, honestly. We also did level up, so let's go ahead and take that. So I can go with Rifleman 3. I can go with... This is 22 again, right? Cam resistant, I believe. This is 22. Uh, it's down here. Yeah, 22. Alright, uh, we can go with Locksmith 3 for Master Locks. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that, actually. I'm gonna go with Locksmith 3. Master Locks are very, very, very lucrative to get through. Curved Ripper? Wait, what? Hmm. Alright, still not interested in taking a Ripper, so whatever. What about... You know what? That wasn't the guy I killed in the... Yeah, here he is. This is the guy I was thinking of. Sun Grenade, nice. Alright, let's actually make, those, make sure those Sun Grenades are equipped and ready to go for when we get inside here. Do I want to say before I go in? Oh, that reminds me, I didn't even mention. I went and I slept for five hours because I was exhausted and over encumbered because of it, so. Doesn't look like there's anyone out here. I mean, there's obviously people over there in Malden itself, but out in the parking lot, not so much. So, remembering Zion. Let's go ahead and read that. Misk. Remembering Zion. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yeah, we wept when we remembered Zion. Alright, let's go ahead and throw down a sleeping bag out here so we can do a safety save. It'll probably make us tired, hopefully not. Hopefully that five hour sleep was enough, because I don't want to have to sleep more. Yep, just tired. Okay, that's fine. Medford Memorial Hospital. Let's go in, just go ahead and get ready on the tab, because we do not want to be swarmed with whatever is in here. Instantly dying would not be a good way to start off clearing a place. And we do have Jet and Psycho if need be. Alright, no one sees us right off the bat, so we'll start off by walking in slowly. I don't see any movement anywhere. I'm hearing... Is that growling? Yes, growling over there. Daddy-o. Let's see, do I have any mines? Because people are going to start running towards me eventually. So let's go ahead and we'll chuck a mine down over here. Okay, back off, back off. They see me? Wow, that did not kill like I was expecting it to. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm surprised she survived an IED. That's pretty insane. Okay, that just shows how powerful their armor really is. It's very resistant. Back to the stun grenades, though. I'm actually gonna chuck a stun grenade behind the counter over there and see if it hits anything. Oh, dog. Wow, I'm so lucky that actually killed him. I wasn't 100% sure if that was actually gonna get him. Because even if I hit, he seemed like he had a lot of health left. That was unbelievably lucky. Another one up there. Shit. Okay. Just keep this gun topped off. Let's see what else do I have ready to go? Where's my... There it is. I want to use this. Lots of ammunition. Might as well put it to good use, right? Player dot get a VAA sanity. We're at five positive sanity right now, which is... Could be better, but that's not that bad. Assault rifle, we're at nine bullets, so I'm going to drop it for now. It's not that needed. We said to be used to dropping weapons. All the way up there. That's a stun grenade, so I shouldn't worry too much. 
As long as I don't get hit while he's still alive, he's definitely the priority there. I'll loot him once I get up there. I want to clear out the bottom floors first. This looks like an elevator. Does it work? It does. So I'm going to chuck a stun grenade over there. Chuck one up front. Didn't hit anyone with that one. Did it hang on with that one? Okay. I'll loot afterwards. Another one sounds like to the right. I think I heard footsteps. Maybe not. It could be above me. Yeah, it looks like nothing. Okay. So let's use a little bit of vats here to make sure there are no mines. Looks like we're okay, though. Alright, let's go ahead and get these guys looted up. Serrated machete. Is that any good compared to my serrated Chinese officer sword? No, it's not. I was gonna say, I think that was above me, but good thing I looked. Terrace the Wise's Journal, or Teresis. Let's go ahead and read that. Also, while I'm in here, Mentats. I probably should have just taken, like, Great or Berry Mentats, huh? Yeah, let's do that too. We'll just take both of them. So that way I can actually see living targets through walls. Tericius, the Wise's Journal. Malden was a wicked place. Scientists performed foul tests on unwilling patients and parents watched as their children transform into cogs of the great machine. For these crimes, Ug Qualtoth sent us the angel. She is to purify Malden of its cursed path. She is to teach us the way of the new world. And she will not rest until the crimes of the past are erased completely. Elder Atreus has called a council meeting to discuss the issue of the old world ghosts. They block our path to the Holy Chapel and disrupt our operations at Dunwich. If only the angel could be sent against them, but the voice tells us that this is not the way of things. We must use the strength of our own arms in this battle. I do not fear for the war to come, for it has all for it has all been done before. Good for you guys. Fucking nuts. But hey, I don't judge. Actually, yes, I do. Fucking nuts. Uh, no bottles. Uh, I can't say I'm disappointed because I don't like getting bottles from. Uh, milk machines because they just weigh so much more than nuka cola bottles so we got a lot upstairs and i'm hearing another dog don't know where he is though. i'm not seeing his highlight uh you know what i was about to see maybe i shouldn't be looting now but i want to actually loot first this time it is kind of wasting the berry mentat but the very mentats last a decent amount of time so i should be fine all right let's get out of here wait anything in here Nope. Alright, let's get up there and take out the next enemies before these Berry Mentats lose their effectiveness. Should I save? Mm. Next time I find a bed in here, I'll save. How about that? Okay, we got one down here, two upstairs. Door is closed. Cloth, stun grenade. 38 rounds. Nice. Coffee cup. Empty ammo box. Alright. I think we're gonna see beds upstairs. Again, look for mines. I'm hearing something. There's some vodka. That helps out a little bit. I mean, really, I should just be drinking alcohol as soon as I can, because I can... I have Party Boy now, so... Also, really? I was so close. I screwed that up so bad. Screwed the pooch. Come on. There we go. What do we got? We got some money. Take that. I'm not going to bother reading the terminal. It's... Oh, I can't anyway. Pretty sure it's pre-war anyway. I don't see the Malden people encrypting a terminal with advanced locks anytime soon. Okay. So, doesn't look like anyone's right here, which is good. These guys are relatively close, though. Can I see this guy if I pop out here? Oh, it's a it's the Protectron, so this guy I can. Door is closed. Yeah, I, I wasted a little bit of ammunition on that first guy. I kind of started firing a little bit early, but... It's okay. Scratch my eye in the meantime. Is that moldy food? Yes. 
Not very helpful. Should I get the Protectron out? Probably. I'll go Purge. Yes, please. Antiseptic. Also, yes. Empty ammo box. Also, I should be looking for a bed. Was there a bed back here? No. Hope there was one downstairs that I just missed, like a sleeping bag. I don't think so, though. Whoops. Okay. We got this buggy room again. All right, let's go ahead and hack this terminal. Bump. Rope. Mood. Could be. No. Tire. Zone. Nail? Come on, give me somewhere like this. Pays. Mall. Really? Hazy. One like this. Oh my god. Is it even worth it? Guns. Mall. Dens. Hmm. Try it two more times. Bins, brush, nice. Eventually it'll happen. Let's go ahead and turn them on construction worker mode and activate them. Okay, well at least we don't have any more of that buggy ass, I don't even know what you'd call that, lack of area? I don't know. Okay, there's someone up here in the second floor, so I guess I'll head up top first. There's also, it looks like a dog right there. I think that guy's sitting, I think that's another guy sitting. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Okay, one right, oh, no, not right there. Looks like we gotta go down first to get to him. One right here, though. There's a little bit of panic there. Didn't realize it was a dog right in the beginning. Okay, one right here. Two above. Gone insane. It's okay. Let's go ahead and take Mentats to counteract. All right. Mm, I should have drank from there. That was really radioactive. See, it says plus three rads, but it, it gives me like this gigantic chunk of radiation. There's no way that's plus three. Like, I'm calling a little bit of bullshit there. There's, it's definitely giving me like plus thirty or something. Cause like every time I drink from something that says, oh, plus three, it's like a huge massive chunk. Unless it's like a ton of that in like a small time, I don't know. Go ahead and save. We're overtired, but we can still walk, thankfully. Oh, my nose itches. Uh, test tube, all right. We'll just finish up the bottom floor here, and then we will head to that last area, which I presume that key I picked up is for. This was a pretty nice clear of this hospital, to be perfectly honest. I hope we get a lot of good stuff once we find the medical containers. I would say I'm hoping for a dick doll, but I'm really not. Not at this point. Not anymore. There's no point. Simpax, Medex. Yeah, okay, that's about what I was looking for. A dick doll I don't need anymore. This one dick doll that I have will last me the rest of the entirety of the game. The rest of the entirety of the game? That sounded weird. The rest of the game. Because once I get cam resistant, I'm never going to need a dick doll again. So, you know. Alright, how do I get upstairs? Okay, I've been that way. I'm gonna find a way to get up to... Okay, that's an elevator. That's where those guys that I killed were. This just leads back up here, although it might have a roundabout way to get there. I don't know, I didn't... Yeah, okay. So I could have went this way. Might be able to I need expert. Looks like there is a little bit of medical supplies back there. Buff out too. That's a bit unfortunate, but that's okay. We already know this place is clear due to our Mentats, which actually, I don't know, maybe they wore off by now. One positive sanity without Mentats addiction. That's not good. We're not doing very good on Mentat or on sanity at all. I mean, for the longest time, we were doing fine on sanity because we kind of avoided shooting things and killing people. 
but now we're back at it again and not doing so well. Take a bunch of my alcohol at least, that might help. Also take a bandage so I can start healing up that little bit of damage I have. I mean, I could just hope I get Thorazine in here. That should help a decent amount. There we go. Nice. Nope. Don't really want to make more mentats right now. Do I have any Thorazine on me? I didn't, like, pick any up, did I? No. Okay. Alright. And this guy. Nothing. Alright. Well, let's go to that last room now, shall we? I think I want to make one more save before I actually get in there, just in case I die. Don't want to lose a bunch of progress. This could make me overtired or uh, weary. In the case that it does, I'll just sleep for the required time. Overtired, not weary. Okay, good. And we still have our Mentats working, which is good. Do I have any mines? I think I picked up a frag mine. Let's just use the grenade, though. Okay. I'm gonna head this way first. Okay, we have one, two, three, four targets. Target left. And everyone's dead. Nice. Alright, that actually went surprisingly well. Let's loot the whole place. Let's get to this room first and see what we got. And nothing really. Got a bobby pin box. That's something. Very Mentats wore off, unfortunately. We still have our other Mentats providing us with the sanity. Getting effects. Key of Hunger. Alan Finch's journal. Alan Finch's journal. One of four. Alan, Alan, Alan. Hello. July 6, 2080. Malden Center has been picked clean. Corwin and I sent out to try and entertain at hunting. Imagine fresh meat. No more stale old cram for us. Or will sell. He saw. He said he saw deer in the area, but everything we track soon disappears without trace. It is infuriating. July 10th, 2080. We notice a figure tracking us. Cor calls him Ith Ithaqua, Windwalker. He watches us hunt, but disappears before we can get a good look. Corwin thinks he's been stealing our prey and has it, has it in mind to capture the man. But I say leave him be. He cannot possibly be responsible on his lonesome. Okay. Psychojet? Yeah, sure, I guess. Storazine! Yeah, give me that. Beautiful antibiotics! Nice! Angel's hood? Oh man, it's buggy. I wonder why this happens. I've read other people get the issue, too. This is a really nice weapon. But, I don't know. Let's see, serrated. Oh, he's the same. So, 53 versus 48. It's actually worse, but and it's, a, it's split damage, too, which is also not the best. Yeah, I did read other people have the issue, though. It kind of sucks, because it looks cool. I, I'm curious to see if there's a way I can fix that, or if it's... Like, look at it. It's not even... It's actually... It doesn't even have, like, a, uh, a collision mesh. Or whatever. Which is interesting. Because that means it doesn't have any physics in the world. I think that's what it is. That's... This this means it's missing a collision mesh. I can't remember. Uh, or a mesh in general. That's... I don't know. I don't know what's causing that. Maybe it's just because... Low version of Frost. So I have no idea. Atreus Finch. I've heard your will, O Master. From the walls of your chapel I heard you speak, but I know not of the serum you long for. I will scour the depths of the dead city if it is your will, but I long for a sign. The angel keeps the tunnelman at bay, but what of the ghosts? They haunt us still. Do they know to let go? Don't they know to forget? Sometimes I remember. I remember a time before the angel. I remember a man named Corwin and his little brother Alan. But that was the old world, and the old world is dead. It went crazy. Good job, buddy. All right, let's see... Stun grenade. Oh yeah, I'll take that Thorazine right now too. Bam! Mildly dehydrated. That's okay. Oh shit, take two waters. That's a little bit unfortunate, but overall it's fine. Uh, I can get this open now too, I guess. Grab some extra XP, might as well. Oh, or not. Oh. 
There we go. Alright, let me just double check everything around here. I want to make sure I didn't leave anything important like, I don't know, Thorazine? Entats wore off. It's okay though. Mongrel dog meat, I guess I'll take so I can get more mud chops. So we're down to 20 rounds on the 10 millimeter. Which, yeah, we use a lot of ammo here. But honestly, we only use 20 rounds, or 20, uh, 10 millimeter, I can't even speak. We only use 10 millimeter, so it's not that bad. I think we did pretty good, actually. Considering, did we even die in here once? I don't think we did. Hmm. Now I'm gonna run into like a mine that I forgot to take out somewhere and instantly die, right? Yeah, we did pretty good, though. I think I looted everything on the way, too, so we can just leave. Oh, that's right, though. There's a little door here. Good thing I saw this, or I would have forgotten. Which probably would have been pretty damn bad, considering, yeah, a Dictal, Thorazine. Again, I really don't need a Dictal anymore, so I'm not that excited about it. I mean, it's nice to have, I guess, we can sell it, but... I mean, oh, permanent inflict, plus 2% limb damage. It's basically useless to me, unfortunately, so. But, uh, that's okay. Thorazine's nice, though. Go ahead and take that. That helps us a little bit. We're at positive 12 sanity. And I think... Nuka-Cola. We're good to go. So let's skedaddle. Also, I'm gonna drink some of my Nuka-Cola. Just so I can go ahead and grab some of that. Hydration, my might. I, I was like, think of the word for it. I was like, what? Thirst? Purified? For some reason, I was gonna say purified water. I don't know, man. My mind just blanked. So we're gonna go to the Malden Subway here. We're gonna see if we can't get access to the dungeon that was newly added. Again, I, like I said before, I don't know where it is. I just assume it's a, it's connected to the Malden Subway because eh, it seems like it would make sense. If it's not, I'll find it, no matter what. We are overtired from lack of sleep. Uh, uh, nah, let's sleep. Let's sleep until the morning. Because I don't want to be attacking this place when it's dark out and I can get flanked by something I can't see. Uh, I'm just going to ignore the fact that I heard a synth. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Okay? Huh. 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 Well. Okay. That's, uh... Huh. Okay. Mm. Overactive sensors. Nothing more. There we go. At least we took care of him pretty fast. You don't need to clear out all of Malden. I want to go right into the subway here. Malden Center. Troubleshooting boxer's gloves and a focused prototype pistol. With 35 cells. Hmm. I have a feeling this is going to be a really bad weapon. How do we test it? Wait a minute. What is it called? Boosted prototype pistol? Wait a minute. What? Prototype pistol? This isn't... What? Is this... This is new. This isn't vanilla. This is actually from Frost. Huh. Now that's actually interesting. Everything here is... Dead. Why is it all... Oh, no. Don't tell me there are synths down there, man. Come on. You said new enemies. I'm... Oh no, man. I hope you don't mean since. That shit's hard to fight. Everyone's dead already. I didn't do this. Something killed everything here. I mean, there was still a Malden man like him. Wow, just so much damage, though. How much damage is it listed as? 78. Holy fuck, this is a powerful weapon. Like, wow. Okay. I'm gonna go into the Malden Center right away. Right down there. Right now. Let's go. I'm going. We're going. I'm excited. I don't know what to expect. 
But that that synth, I don't think that's I don't think that's not supposed to be there. Let me take a look at that synth. Let me see if he looks any different than uh, something you would expect. Hmm. He actually does, unless this is the armor I shot off him. Is it just me, or does he look extremely primitive for a synth? Like, look at this. Yeah. Unless I just shot his armor off, this looks super primitive. I have a feeling this is not going to be the last synth we're going to see. I have a feeling that this is not going to be an easy encounter at all. Well, here we go. Spam tab right away. Maybe that is a bug, who knows, but that does not seem like one to me. Because this is a prototype pistol. This isn't a prototype pistol. This is that's definitely not what it's called in in vanilla, right? I'm not just like forgetting embarrassingly, right? I don't know. We'll find out. You're carrying too much. You're also hungry. Uh, I think I have ribeye. Really? The ribeye didn't actually get me up there. Hmm. That sucks. Hopefully I find something to cook down here, because I'm actually... Yeah, I'm out of stuff. Let's drink the Nuka. Am I still over-encumbered, or did I switch to walking? I switched to walking. Well... I mean... I'm gonna try and avoid picking stuff up because I'm pretty over encumbered. Especially, like, even bottles, even though I need them. I don't really. I mean, eh, we'll get them if I need them, but. Well, nothing looks new so far. Although, this place. Was that always there? I don't know. This actually. I don't know. I can't. I'm not gonna even say if anything's new or not. Because I can't remember. It's been a while since I've been down here. Come on. So close, man. There we go. Got it. Alright, we got some dirty water in here. Take that. I'll take the whiskey and drink it right away. So he gets my carry weight up. Food storage terminal. Inventory update. Looks like we're well stocked with canned food for right now. The last raid on a caravan seems to have paid off. Seems to have paid off. Water supply is good. A few rads ain't gonna hurt anyone. As usual, we're running low on liquor and beer. I convince everyone to hold off on partying so we can keep all the clear liquor for medical purposes. Next time someone gets shot or needs a limb taken off. Brown liquors are still fair game, so no one seemed to complain. I've gotta say, we've made a good little life for ourselves down here. It beats getting scorched by death by those nut jobs in Saugus? That's for damn sure. So long as no one pisses us off, pisses off our mean green neighbors up in West Everett, I think we could make a go of it down here. Gus, read this. Motherfucker, I will not tell you again. I come down here and find us low on dog food, I will put a bullet in an empty skull of yours. I know you're the one eating it, you fucking moron. No one else eats that shit as long as we got other food. I should have left you to rot when I found you, Gus. Don't you ever forget that. What the fuck, Gus? Also, what did my map get updated with? Oh, the Saugus place. Cool. I don't really want to take dog food. Take cram, though. That could help. Cram, cram, eat. Still peckish. What else? Cram, cram. Nice. Hmm. This place is eerily empty. Also, am I floating? Yes. I don't see any bodies, though. I'm gonna try and sleep again, even though I just recently did. This is just to make sure. Down to four body pins, so I have to really start being careful here. That's it. Trying to listen for things. That's why I'm not really talking. This place is an odd one. 
This is the restrooms. Terminal, but no Protectron. Here's another restroom. It's empty. Okay, what triggers that, I wonder? Hmm. Oh, there's a... I don't even know why I didn't see that tripwire. It's okay. It doesn't matter. I don't trip him anyway, but still. So that would have killed me if I didn't have the perk. So, uh, good thing I had the perk, huh? Also, this doesn't look safe. Key of Fear. Alan Fidge's journal, 204. I guess we're in the right direction. Nope, that's not what I wanted. July 17th, 2080. Each day we press further and further into the waste. Corwin is determined to find Ithaqua's den. As he is not from the station, there must be a bunker nearby. I grow anxious. This seems wrong. 2020, July 20th, 2080. There was no bunker, only a feeding ground. I swear to you, I've never seen such horror in my life. Bodies strewn across the snow, torn limb from limb, and it wasn't just deer. What, it was, what we track is more animal than a man. A demon in man's skin. Corwin is gone, but I know where he is. He seeks Ithaqua. I fear that he will not survive the encounter. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I found the dungeon. And I'm gonna go out on a limb and say... I'm really excited! That's not a limb, I'm super fucking excited! Holy shit, I am really excited. So I'm gonna guess the dungeon's that way. What's over here, though? A marksman sniper rifle? That's what's over here. Hell yeah! Wow, look at that damage! Let's go ahead and drop the other sniper rifle. I don't need uh, that anymore. Where is it? The light one, I think it was called? Where is it? Oh, just sniper rifle. Yep. Don't need that anymore. I got a new gun. This is much better. Let's go ahead and put that as four. The prototype pistol with a six. And I'm still over encumbered because I picked that up. So... I'm about to drop something here. Damn it, I right clicked because I. Ugh, Fallout. Why? Okay. Hmm. This place is pretty big, huh? So, this is, I presume, where they were living before. We got our save, which is good. I'm just gonna quickly run over here. That looks like a trap. Um. Ah! Oh, it already blew up? Really? That was a tiny explosion. Oh, you got- <laughs> I don't know. I thought it, it shot, and then- I don't know. I don't know why I jumped so hard. That scared me, but... It was a really small explosion, I gotta say. Alright. Well, guys. Ooh, vodka. I think with that... I am going to end today's survival here. Next time, we're going down into the new dungeon. So, anyway, guys, hope you enjoy. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.